Hi, I'm Ted, and today I'm going to show you how to make a totaling column formula in Excel. I have a, a spreadsheet already here, and it's just some, uh, some information I made up, and it's an imaginary list of employees, and how many weeks they worked, and how many hours per week they worked, and then the, um, over on the right I have a, a formula with the total hours, which is just the weeks times the hours per week. Um, and what we want to do is we want to total up the total number of weeks uh, that all the employees worked and the uh, total hours that they all worked. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the bottom of the, uh, of the table and we're going to add a new column and we're going, to, we're going to call it total. And we're going to, in cell B12, we're going to have the total, we're going to enter in a formula and the easiest way to do it is to use the sum formula. Um, obviously we could, we could put in a formula and we could say equals B2 plus B3 plus B4 plus B5, but that could get very tedious and Excel has ways to make things like this, common tasks that you do much simpler. Um, so we could go in and we could say equals sum, S-U-M, and then an open parentheses and, and then just select the whole range of cells we want to add and then close the parentheses and, and hit a return. And when we do that, I guarantee we'll have the sum at the bottom. But I'm gonna show you a much quicker way of doing it. And so I'm gonna hit the, up here, I'm going to cancel what I was going to do. Hit the little red X up there. And I'm gonna show you a, a, a shortcut that Excel has. And, and depending on the computer you have in the particular operating system in the version of Excel, you may find it in a different place, but you want to look for a symbol that looks like this, which is the Greek capital sigma sign, and it's the universal symbol, symbol in math for summation. So you look for that, and if you mouse over it, it says display the sum of the selected cells at the end of the selection. Now this is really cool because when you do that, we're going to click on that and watch what happens. Excel knows that we have a range of numbers that are adjacent to the place where we're entering in the sum formula, and it's already picked out the cells exactly the way we want it. So we hit return, and we're done. Now, let me just show you, if, if we happen to have a blank line in there, so I'm gonna insert a blank line, and insert a row, and we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna put, do, try the same thing over here, uh, in column D where we have the total hours and let's try that little t trick I just taught you. Click on the sum sign and look what happened. It only wants to sum the cells up to where that blank line is. So that's why it's very important in Excel when you're do gonna do lots of things like this is to have a consistent um, pattern to, your, to your, your, your cells. You don't want a lot of blank lines because Excel doesn't like that when it's doing things like this. So let's, let's undo that and, um, and we'll click on the undo line so that we, we, do, we don't have that blank line. And let's just go down here and, and just do what we did before. Click on the sum sign, hit return, and we're done. And then you might want to do some formatting. I always like to have a bo you know, the, the totals bold so, you, so that they stand out and you can do all kinds of formatting yourself um, for, for whatever, whatever it is you want to show. So I hope this has been helpful. I'm Ted, and today I showed you how to enter in a totaling column formula in Excel. Thank you for watching.